Strange here. I've got a quick video for you today about how to pull a theme together for the decoration of a room. And so I just want to show here, this is in a, a client's place. I've been working with them right from the start of this project and uh, you know, from the planning uh, for the entire structure of the home. And now we've gotten to the stage of uh, decorating and bringing all the colour and design into the space and the furniture. So where do you start? How do we start with a room like this? But we started for the design of this room with this image. If you just take one single image and if you just look at all of the colours that show up in this particular image, and in this case, this was not um, hard to source as a painting, it's actually wallpaper. And then we cut the wallpaper and then put a frame around it. So taking all the colours out of that one picture, we then bring all, the, all of these colours, you can see the browns, the pinks, the peacock blue, bringing, remember, stripes, pattern, texture, we've got some fur, um, uh, sheepskin here, and of course all the other colours that come in with the other artwork and the other features, bringing life into the space with the green plant, again if we come back over here to the corner of the image, there's greenery in here, so every colour that shows up in here, even down here, take a look at this, this small, this small armchair with the colour of the blue, that teal colour, that also shows up in the picture. Again, if we come down, take a quick look at this, here's the rug, here we've got the pinks and the browns, some other, um, some, some, uh, some little blue and some navy blue in here and some greys, they show up, then of course, with the bookcase over here, we bring a slightly different shade of the coffee brown colour into it. Looks almost purplish, strangely, in, in this light now. And, uh, and same again, another rug on the floor, which also matches the theme. And so we've just got this beautiful combination of colours. And it also observes those five energies that we're trying to look for. Those five energies are space, clarity, richness, warmth, and energy. Space is is it a big space? Is it a small space? Is it open? Is it closed? Is it narrow? Is it wide? So we first get a feeling for the space. Is it a light space? Well, yes, we've got some light coming on this side and the darker side of the room over here. What is the quality of light? Well, because this is more westerly facing, we get this sense of uh, a certain quality of light that's going to come in with a certain warmth at certain times of the day. So that's space. Clarity then brings how are we going to set the room out? How are we going to lay it out here? Now the other interesting feature here is this is actually a living uh, sitting room. So uh, they watch TV in here. So we've got the projector up in the top of the ceiling on this side. And over this side, the screen pulls down. Uh, and it's really discreet. So you can come in, close this down, and use it as a media room. And of course, to keep the intimacy here, part of the clarity again, is bringing this furniture around into a square block so that we're in a conversation space here, designing on points of three, remember? One, two, and three. Now we've got focal points within those threes. And then of course, coming in on the entrance side of the room, you can come in, and then another focal point would be the piano and the decoration around the piano on the other side here. So that brings clarity to the room. Richness, well, there's plenty of richness in here. This is where we bring nature in from the outside. The, just the richness of colors, textures, the natural grain in the wood, the natural grains in the tables, as much of nature as we can find, and of course the richness of the original picture that we started with. Plenty of richness. Warmth. Now warmth brings the beating heart into the place. This place just within all of this just feels naturally warm and welcoming. The warmth comes from the way that the furniture is set out, that we are aligned in here. The whole focal point is the center of the room here where we sit and talk with one another. And then if we want to reseat so that we then focus onto the, onto the TV screen, then we can do that also. So that brings the beating heart, the warmth, and also all of the personalized artwork in here. Everything, so much of this art has been done by the owner of the house that you can just feel their personality, the warmth and the welcome when you, they feel so much at home here. And then the fifth piece, of course, is energy. How do you energize a space? Well, interestingly, as a, as a media room, as a lounge where we sit back and relax, we don't want the energy bouncing off the walls here. We need it to be quite quiet and settled. 
So it has that calmness, the, the light that comes in from this direction brings a calmness to it. These colours, the, it feels very calm, very relaxing in here. It's very, very good indeed. This is a, a really great piece of design in this space. Anyone who comes into this room just feels naturally at ease, relaxed. And of course, if I turn around, and I don't know if this is gonna too much like it, but then there's the view. All of the outside has to be landscaped yet because uh, they're still working on the house. But this extraordinary view across their, their garden, plenty of nature out there, plenty of light, plenty of space to enjoy. So this is a real success. It's a beautiful room and uh, I'll have some more updates for you later. Okay, thanks so much.